Nyanara ya sasini Nyanara ya sasini is a beautiful side of Ghana and most of you have not seen this side on TV or anywhere else so developed skyscrapers really nice roads it's totally lit up at night wow makes me proud to be now Ghanaian hey I feel like you're more Ghanaian than most Ghanaians you know? I know right the, but, fact but... That, the fact that you're even promoting Ghana to the world I think we need to give you those flowers. Oh, Ghanaians, we need give to me give my you flowers. That Ghana passport. But you know what? Uh -huh. This place deserves it. I mean, because it really stands out, to be yep, honest. You yep, know, yep. where do I even start? Do we talk about how lit it is at night? Should we talk about how the roads are really good? Should we talk about the skyscrapers? Do we talk about the security you feel when you. You know, you feel like this place is so international. And this is the place that welcomes you when you land in Accra. Wow. I mean, the first time that you landed in Ghana, which airport did you use? Uh, Kotoka International Airport. And will you believe that before 2000, this place was a forest? Forest. And the only building that existed in here was just the airport, not the one that you landed in. But we had an airport that was built by Kwame Nkrumah. No way. And currently, the new airport that we're using was built by the former president, I mean, it's still Ghana's money. But the whole of this place that you are praising mm -hmm. was a forest wow. before 2000. Wow. So, That's, it, so it's developed so fast. It shows that Ghana has changed. So, wow. I mean, those of you who have never been to Ghana since 2000, definitely when you land in Ghana, you'll be like, is this the same Ghana that I left? Wow. It's a group of people who came together to form this city with a collaboration with the government. So whatever building that you see in here has nothing to do with the government. It's more like a private owned building. Wow. Yep. And there are so many and they are concentrated in this area and it just looks so developed. Exactly. It's so impressive you guys. Would you say this is the richest uh, area in terms of square foot? you remember when you went to South Africa? Yeah, the, the richest square saying, mark. was called... Uh, um, Santin. Santin. Would you say this is the same for Ghana? I think I would say this exactly the same mm. thing. Because of the buildings that you see in here. Look at the building behind you. They call this the oh, pineapple building. Oh, that's beautiful. You see that it looks like a pineapple. And then I love how it's lit up at night. Exactly. It so. just lights up. It's incredible. It's more like offices in there. So you can literally rent it wow. and then be in there. And then the designs are just so unique. How pineapple structured building. <laughs> That's so creative. You don't get that every day. Exactly. And they are all around here. There's, a, there's one coming up where, you know, the entire are revolving hotel. Yep. It's, a, it's a revolving restaurant. Wow. It, it's one of the buildings that is so unique in here, even though it's abandoned at the very moment. I don't know what happened. If the owner is watching me, this video, please let me know why you abandoned this building. Listen, this place is extremely beautiful. Anytime that I walk in here, I wish the entire country would look like this. Ghana, you know? No, the rest of Ghana needs to learn from the airport city. Mm -hmm. And the reason why the airport city is what? Developing every single day because it's managed by a group of people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes when you give projects to the government, at the end of the day, people knowing that this is coming from the government they need to be paid by the government they don't take care of it but if it's a private entity every developer needs to make sure that their buildings are being taken care of that's why this city looks like this i know right yep. incredible but I, I think i need to educate people more about this place and i don't know anything about this place believe me all i know is what i read on the internet so maybe tomorrow morning what i'm gonna do is to go meet the president of the entire city and talk to him you don't oh, think nice. so I, th I think that will give us a lot of information because i have so many questions you have so many questions. i have so many questions so let's do this we have to do this man stay tuned and um enjoy the night view of the airport city in let's, ghana let's start by showing them this building look at this building look at that building look at this one maybe, maybe. that one behind look at this pineapple building look at this one. Oh my god oh my god this is fantastic <laughs> Oh, 
Welcome to Airport City. Airport City is the uptown of Accra, Ghana. You have the downtown and you have the uptown. This is where all the commercial real estate is in Ghana. This building has all the full services. Including the backup generators, uh, the backup water, and first class international standard uh, buildings. So if you want to be a mover and shaker, not only in Ghana, but in the star of Ghana, the center of Africa, this is where you want to be, Airport City, Accra, as we say, Accra. Your Excellency. Hello. Mr. Good President, to good to see you. Good to see you. You guys have done an amazing job. Thank you very much. But for me, I don't like excellency. I'm, oh. I, I am the Kweku Kalmuni. Kweku? Kweku Kalmuni, yes. You call Kweku? Were you born and raised in Ghana? Yes, I was born in Ghana. How do you think you can be called the Kweku? It means you are Wednesday born. And Wednesday born, we are smart people. You know that? Who lied to you? Hey. <laughs> Who lied to you? I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> Who like to you about Wednesday bonds? But it's a pleasure meeting you. Listen, my first question is, since you are the president of the Airport City Association, does it mean that you own a property in here? Yes, absolutely. All the members of Airport City Association, we are owners of the building. I'm the owner of Silver Star Tower, you see here. The research that I did was this place used to be a forest. Is that true? It's true. It used to be a forest. So in the year 2000, uh, the government did an auction. Okay. And we got two pieces of land and we built Silver Star Tower 1. And other uh, offices came up. Because of this, this became the uptown. You have the downtown and now we have the uptown of Ghana. Does it mean that this is with a collaboration with the government or you own the land fully? No, we own the land fully, but the government uh, did the urban plan that they don't want uh, bungalows here. They want uh, all, all of us to have mid-rise and high-rise. Okay. And that's what we did. And as you see, we do have mostly office space, but we do have uh, hotels. We have the Holiday Inn, which is complete, and we have the Marriott, which is complete, and the other office buildings and other hotels coming up. I want to know if you can tell me what is so unique about the airport city. Wow, that's a wonderful question. The uniqueness of Airport City that you have 29 acres of prime land which have all the new buildings all in one location. They are not dispersed at different places. Mm. And as you look uh, here, you see the buildings are all nice, modern, yep. tropical design. Yep. Uh, okay, so this is wonderful. And uh, especially when you come at night, you think you, you're not in some uh, <laughs> forest anymore. You are now in the Wakanda of Africa. Africa. Yeah. I'm in the city myself, that's why I'm asking you so many questions. So which means that the Airport City Association manage the city now? Yes, we manage the city. The original management was uh, Ghana Airport uh, Company but we are helping them. And four years ago, we, we, we started the city called the Airport City Association. Mm. Okay, so, and some of the things we work on, we work on gutter cleaning, cleaning, security, sidewalks, there's, so there's a sidewalk at uh, uh, First Atlantic, there's uh, Atlantic Towers, we have sidewalk at Silver Star Tower. And we want to encourage all our members to build sidewalks because walking is healthy and it's good. Is there any available land at the moment? Uh, no, all the lands have been, uh, ha sold, have been out. sold out, but for people who are interested, I heard from Kokonsa that there's an airport city too. So maybe you can see my friends at the airport for airport city too. So this is a private city? Uh, the airport city one is a private one? It's not that private, it's, uh, it's government, but the government sold it to individuals to build. So airport city too will also be sold to private citizens to build. So they manufacture or they do the master plan. And they say this area we want office, this area we want a hotel, this area we want uh, maybe an apartment. After the government sold the land to you, does it tell you the kind of building that you need to build in here? Uh, no, they only tell you about the zone. But you decide on whatever design you want to do and the height. You can decide to make it five stories high or 10 stories high. 
But obviously, since the, the land is prime, you want to build something very nice on an international level. Now that you're talking about something high, what's the tallest building in here? Uh, the tallest building here is uh, the Amwa building over there, which is incomplete. I'm sure, uh, his, according to him, his problem is parking. He has uh, 200 parking, but he needs more parking. And uh, he's waiting for government to build the parking lot for him. But I don't know why you need to wait for government. You have to do your own parking. But I think there are so many incompleted buildings within the city, by the way. Yes. Basically, there's ah. about three, three incomplete. You have this building, this building, and there's also a hotel coming up, uh, which is incomplete uh, as well. But the rest of us, we have, uh, we have finished we have finished and Airport City is uh, working well um, for the people who are here. What is the most unique building in the city? The most well, unique for building? Me, for me, I think my building is the most unique. Even though it's the oldest building, we have uh, refurbished it. We put uh, the new aluminum composite panel. We have done a nice crown and at night time, I'm sure you see the blue light. Wow. Another unique building is uh, it's one airport square. And one this airport one? square, as you see, it looks like a pineapple. So they nickname oh, it is a pineapple. The pineapple building. The pineapple building. Okay, and then uh, you have Ibis. And then another interesting building is uh, Atlantic Towers. It's also interesting with Marriott. Marriott is a five-star hotel. So in here, we have four-star hotel and we have a five-star hotel. That looks like a revolving restaurant out there, the one that I saw in Dubai. It's true. So it's going to have a revolving restaurant when they finish. When they finish. But don't ask me when they will finish. You know who we are in Ghana. I don't know what is waiting for. I wanted to ask you that question, but I said I shouldn't ask you. Yes. So I'm not going to ask you. Yes. You know what? I have so many people that watch my videos. And since you are the owner of this building, can we do an advert? Yes, you can do an advert. You no. can do an advert. If somebody it. wants to... I mean, hire a space in there. Oh yes, they, they can uh, they can hire space inside. Uh, we have uh, we have office space, and we are unique in the sense mm. uh, for us we are modular. So we have as little as 50 square meters and as much as uh, 400 square meters. And the building is integrated. It has all the ACs. It has we have. Uh, generators, mm. we have three generators, we have water reserve. Mm. So when you go and you go in with your furniture and you're ready to start. Of local and international companies, Obviously, on the eighth floor, we have the Somutomo Corporation. It's one of the biggest companies, not only in Japan, but the world. Uh, we have shipping companies, we have the Silver Star, and our famous friends, Lakeside Estate. Uh. K Aluminum Product is a specialty aluminum company. Uh, we have uh, Conchip here, Heritage. Sahara Energy is some of our Nigerian friends uh, wow. here. We have Trimble, uh, ICT, these are oil and gas. We have the kitchen. We have our friends, Royal Oil Maroc. Uh, we have Echo Bank, Japan Moto, Silver Star, and the uh, and Sand Big Bank uh, incubator, and also some more oil and gas companies. Interesting. So this is a showroom. Yes, this is the showroom. So we are at uh, Silver Star Tower. We have banking halls and showrooms. So this is the Nissan showroom for Japan Motors. So if you see here, you see the nice big luxury cars, V8. Okay, because this is a premium building, they only put the premium cars here. So if you want the more affordable cars for Nissan, you go to the graphic showroom. That doesn't mean that they also rented a space from? Yes. So uh, Japan Motors have rented space from us. And there's another auto company called uh, Silver Star Auto. They are the owners for the Mercedes-Benz and uh, Citroën cars and the Peugeot cars, which are on the opposite side. And we are very happy. We're very happy that we also have banks because obviously when you are buying a car, you need your money. money. So instead of uh, bringing the money to the showroom, you just write us a check. So on this side, we have the Standbig Bank. We are very happy with them. And on this side behind us, we have the Echo, Echo Bank, Bank, who are also our friends. Hmm. All right, I want to say thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you appreciate very much your for time. Coming. Okay, we much appreciate it.
So meet W1, uh, Francis Dazi, is the senior intelligence officer at Silver Star Tower. This is the safest part of Accra, bro. And we have 24-7 security. There are monitoring cameras, there are civilians. There is uh, always a night and day supervisor and about eight men at each time, right? There's a okay. maximum of eight people every day manning the place. Which means it's so expensive to run this place now. It's worth the cost, bro. How much for a space in here? It's uh, $25 per square meter. It's um, pretty good. So, I want to know why is it so worth it for someone to rent a place like this? So, I call this place the center of Ghana, not geographically, but the business center of Ghana, because by road, you are closest to Volta region, to Takradi, and to Kumasi as in the world. You just drive enough, you go to Kumasi, you drive east, you go to the water, and you drive west, you go to uh, Takradi, and then you're as close to Kumasi as you are close to the UK. You hop into the plane. You can actually walk from here to the airport. And then you are at wherever you want to be. So if you have a multinational business and you have a lot of activities going on, you want to be somewhere here so that you can manage both your inland travels and even air travels from one spot and optimize your time. So it's worth it. And also, we have a lot of businesses here. Like we have the banks in here, we have the airlines in here, we have the automobile businesses here. So you don't really have to go out of the city to do anything you want to do. We have meals, so you can eat and have your lunch. You can stay in. We have hotels, we have conference facilities. So everything you want is inside airport city. Most of them are actually in here in Silver Star Tower. So it's, it, op it optimizes your life eventually. You should look at it as that. Okay, I want to say thank you so much for talking to me and I appreciate your time. As always.